class warfare is a strange accusation coming from people engaging in class warfare. Take a look at corporate taxes. They keep getting lower. In fact, some companies pay no taxes at all because of loopholes. Personal taxes are much the same. Because of the low capital gains rate, Warren Buffett pays a lower rate than his secretary. Now compare that to unemployment. Notice how giving them tax breaks doesn't seem to help. This one also shows that giving tax breaks to the wealthy has no effect on jobs. It seems obvious, but there's a chart anyway. Now check this out. If you notice, job growth is pretty much non-existent. Yet, corporate profits seem to be doing just fine. They have money, but they don't hire people. Perhaps that is because employment is linked to market demand, like everyone with half a brain will tell you. This one shows that GDP is improving, but of course, employment is not. These next two are very telling. First, we have a chart showing the increase in productivity compared to the wages of workers producing the goods. Then this next one shows productivity with median family income. Notice how they keep diverging more and more. This one, of course, is a chart of personal income. So, after seeing all that, I think we can see that all gains in productivity go to corporations and the wealthy people who run them. So which class is at war with which class exactly? It looks like the rich have been ruthlessly bombing the poor and middle class back to the Stone Age. This brings me to wealth redistribution. So, the wealthy and corporations can keep getting more and more productivity out of workers without paying them more, and somehow that's not stealing. Taking something without paying for it is generally considered stealing. I guess it depends on who is doing the taking. Because, of course, we hear all about how paying taxes to fund programs is stealing. When talking about progressive taxes and programs to help the poor, certain individuals seem to be very against this idea of redistributing the wealth. But what do you call this? The worker's percentage of productivity profits keeps going down so they work more and more for the same money. That looks a lot like wealth redistribution. Funny how this, again, seems to be dependent on how it is distributed. In this political climate, we can't even take away tax breaks that were given due to a budget surplus or close loopholes without being accused of exactly what the accusers have been doing for years. No, instead they want to cut programs needed by the poor. This tactic was tried in 1937 and 1938 and it didn't work so well. Yet they want to do it again. The rich cry out to keep the gravy train from ending while the poor just wish they had a little gravy. Normally, conservatives are all for tax cuts, but they seem to oppose cutting taxes on the middle class. They don't want to take away tax cuts given to the rich because of a budget surplus and the false pretense of job creation, yet they seem to favor a small tax increase on the poor. They want the poor to sacrifice the very food from their plates for America, but the rich can't be asked to do anything. The ones who America helped the most with its promise of opportunity should be the ones to pay the most back to her. 
the ones who have given so much with so little in return should at least be granted a minimal standard of living by the country touted as the greatest in the world. For there can be no prosperity without fairness. We either rise together or we fall together. <laughs>